Hello folks and modelers. I'm back for my part two of the build on this kit which is the Antarctica observation ship Soya. So this kit is at 1350 scale and it's from Hasegawa. So since my last uh, update I have uh, done some paintings and uh, I did not progress much on the build but I have uh, managed to do quite a bit of a painting so today I'm just gonna be talking about what I've painted and how far I got so it will be not it will be a, just a short update. So let's just get into the build and I will show you where I am. So I'm gonna move this box out of the way. And so this is how far I've gone with this ship. And uh, I think you can see that I've already painted the hull and also the decks so the hulls are all glued together and also the decks except for this uh, this piece here and this thing so basically I have painted uh, all these the side hulls separately and also the decks all separately and then I, I assemble them together and there are some points I would like to show you so when this top hull and the bottom hull came together so as, as I expected <clears throat> there are some uh, gaps here so on this part here I have uh, I've done some little bit of putty and also as uh, as expected this uh, this part <clears throat> became a bit of a nightmare because you are able to see these kind of things and <clears throat> and it's actually worse on this side here so the gaps are pretty big here so I think these have to be filled up because this is I think just too obvious and then at the edge, at the corner here, there was a little bit of hole here, so I filled that up. And I've tried sanding off uh, on this side because there was a little bit of step. But I think this side doesn't need to be putted. And for these two side pieces to come together, of course, there will be some gap lines over there which I've cleaned up a bit and then also here and here when this hull came when I glued these two pieces together of course I tried to press it in but there was uh, some gaps here, so I, I filled this up. But I won't, I don't think I will be able to sand this area, so it will be just filled up like that. Later, I'm gonna just touch up with the paint so that there are no gaps there. And then I think this part here I'll need to figure out how to fill it without messing up the 
the hull here. But for the back here, I think the fit was uh, pretty good. I don't see any gaps. Of course, there there is a bit of a step here. But I think these steps are not so obvious. And since, you know, in the real ship, all these are pieces of metal welded together anyway. So it is maybe okay to have a little bit of step over there. But the back here, there was a gap line. I filled that up. And there is a little bit of this kind of seam lines here. But I'm thinking it's okay to leave it. And on this side, Maybe these areas are a bit obvious. It's quite looks quite deep. And there is this uh this part here. Might have to fill that in. But I won't be able to do a heavy sanding because of these uh details over here. So probably I'll just try to fill it up and do a very light sanding. So, yeah, later I will have to take care of those things. Over here, I had some glue smearing, so... And also, on these areas here, uh, I think there is some steps over there. I'm not sure if I should clean this area up because there are there is this raised details over here so anyway later there will be a lot of uh, cleaning things to do and uh, okay for the decks I the way I painted it was uh, I sprayed the tan the wood deck color which is a 10, uh, I think it's number 44. And uh, after I've sprayed this entire thing, I, I only masked up for this, these areas here. Because the rest of these smaller details, there is just too, it's just too much to mask over here. So most of these uh, things here are all uh, brush hand painted which is much easier because to mask all these would be really difficult. And then same goes for here, I just masked up for these areas and the rest of the things I just painted with the uh, brush. And also um same goes for here so let me just take this piece out now uh to show you that uh, okay so i gotta be a bit careful here so the reason why i didn't glue this piece is because there's something i wanted to show you but let me just uh talk about the masking so like I said, I masked these areas here, but these areas were hand painted. Uh, I just masked uh, after I have painted both of these sides and same goes for this. So you can see the surface is not so smooth for these areas here. And uh, the inner side of the hull will be in this green duck green color okay so before I jump into this uh, let me just show you that I've used the the decals for the window frames you can actually paint it also but I, instead I've used the decals so you can see that there are some white smearings there because uh, the masking wasn't so good and also for these windows here 
uh, I've mastered and also these uh, round windows so uh, let me just show you this piece here so the reason why I didn't glue it yet is because I wanted to show you that uh, if you're building this ship I, I think it would be easier if you do this there is a staircase going down so I super glued this staircase to this piece and then I attach the uh, there is a photo edge and this photo edge is one of the most difficult photo edge I've ever done so it is just the railings of the staircase and it was really flimsy uh, I couldn't get it to shape so so since this staircase was already glued uh, then I applied the, this photo edge and the way I did it is uh, I put it in from the top I glued this wait I glued this uh, this part first then I glued the bottom side to the staircase so I hope you can uh, see this might be a bit difficult to see on camera so same thing went for this side so this photo edge were really difficult I think one of the most difficult ever for me so later i will have to paint this staircase i think it's it's in the same color as the deck and uh the railings i'm not so sure what color it is so i will paint that and i will fit it to this uh this part here so fitting also is a bit difficult because it actually goes in between these these two gaps there so I'll have to be really careful not to break the staircase okay so I hope it's going in not sure about this side okay so it will go in like that so that you can see the staircase so yeah this is just uh how far i i got on the build it's a very slow progress because uh I think cleaning up these pieces, then painting them, masking this entire deck was uh, a lot of work. So that I, I need to apply the decal so on here. So I'm still, yeah, I'm still at this. This is the third step. So once I'm done with this step, I can move on to the smaller things on the ship. So hopefully I will progress uh, faster after this but again there are a lot of uh, photo edge that goes along the way so I'm not sh so sure how how fast I can do this uh, I just have this tape here just to protect the the bottom but there are some glue smearings I can see here so maybe this is not a good masking tape So this is actually just a uh, hardware masking tape so probably I should not have used it for my model so I'll, I'll clean up these uh, glues here 
So I think the bottom came up pretty okay, except that it seems like there are some sink marks like that. Probably I've sanded too much, but of course the line disappeared. But you can see there is some, it's a bit of a sink down there. But anyway, it's, a, it's the bottom, so I'm not gonna do much about it. <clears throat> So there are a lot of uh, cleaning things to do before I proceed further. And uh, just to let you know, um, I while looking for a lot of these uh, the photos on this ship, I discovered there is another. I thought Hasegawa was the only kit maker having this uh, this kit, but I discovered there is another kit maker that made this uh, this plastic model <clears throat> and I will just show you over my uh, laptop so I'm gonna move over to my laptop so this is the the kit this is actually from Ponto's model I think it's, it's Japanese so this kit is uh, 250 scale and you know, based on this scale mates, it's a 2019 kit. And there was an instruction sheet, so I downloaded it. And it, this this kit is really quite amazing. Uh, comes with all these brass things. Tons of, uh, not too much plastics, but there is a wooden deck. There is uh, tons of photo wedge. So these side hulls are all photo wedge parts which I think is a bit crazy and these are all the photo edge that goes with the ship so when I was looking at this uh, you can check this out the entire side hull is, uh, is a photo wedge so I think this kit will be very difficult even the Hasegawa kit now is kind of difficult for me so so this will be really too much I think if you look at these small photo which but there are seriously a lot of photo which that goes on this kit so but you know if you're a photo which person I think you would prefer to build this instead of the Hasegawa uh, I don't think I can <clears throat> build this one. It's just too too many photo which and I think it looks too difficult. So anyway, uh, I won't be talking too much about this. By the way, this kit here. Oh my god, look at this. There is even, you can open up this helicopter's uh, front. So that's crazy details over there. By the way, this kit uh, I saw in some web uh, shopping sites. Um, it was priced at about 300 over euros. So there is no way I can afford this. But there is a lot of these uh, nice colored uh, photos. So I will probably use this as a guide because the Hasegawa color guide uh, is in black and white. Of course, there are numbers, but this is pretty good reference. And also like this kind of uh, photos. So I think this will probably help me on my build uh, with the Hasegawa kit so if you're into this you can get this but uh, I think I will just you know I'm gonna be sticking to this so anyway today's uh, review the build review is uh, that's all I have for this time so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video give me a thumbs up or subscribe and always uh, thank you for watching. So until the next time, uh, happy modeling and cheers for now. Goodbye.